everyone today I'm going to do a video showing you guys the smart launcher 6 app on or application on your books palma now this is for any Android device that you have um, and that's the reason why I did it on my books palma because it is a Android based uh, e-reader now there are two different versions there is a free version that you can test out and try to see if you like it and then there is also a paid version which I think for the paid version it was roughly twenty dollars I'm not exactly sure I don't remember um, but if you do purchase it you can use it on any of your Android devices as long as you are signed into the same Google Play Store uh, account um, and I did have this on, uh, those mini MP3 players that everybody, uh, is getting and using as a mini Kindle, but I have my books Palma, so I gave the MP3 player to one of my daughter's friends, just, you know, just to kind of, I guess, have somebody to use it, so it's just not sitting here, so... That's the reason why I'm not showing that one in this video because I do, I, I no longer have it. So this is my lock screen and I created the lock screen and the uh, home screen on Canva. And I got this idea from somebody on the Lemon 8 app. So I cannot take credit for this. I just seen that she made one and I really, really liked it. So I decided to create one myself. Now I, I originally created it for my um, iPhone, which I can show you here. This is what it looks like. That's the reason why the uh, pictures are on the side on uh, the lock screen. And then the home screen is, let's see if I can get it open. So here's the lock screen. So that's why I kind of, and I'm, I guess, knew where I was going to be putting my icon. So that's kind of how I came up with how this looks. So, um, but I did transfer it over to my Books Palma, and the sizing for the iPhone worked perfectly for the Books Palma. So if you want to create one as well, all you have to do is uh, enter the iPhone. Um, there's like different canvas sizes that's like pre-made for you and just enter the iPhone canvas size. Now, um, when you go into Canva, normally when you add pictures and stuff, there's like the full size page and then there is like a little box, like red box. When you get to that limit, that line, it will pop up and appear. Try to keep all of your stuff within that little red um, box because that's how it's going to actually show up on your screen. So there's that. So now I'm going to unlock it. So here's my home page. Same wallpaper for my home page for here because I knew again I was going to set it up almost exactly the same way as my phone. I do also have it on my uh, Kindle Signature Edition, uh, the same wallpaper, and it's just this one as, you know, the wallpaper. And actually, you have to import it as a book, and then just open it as a book to have it show on the, the lock screen. Um, but if you do have a Kindle that has ads on it, that will not show up. You have to have the ads removed for that to work on the Kindle itself. So now on back to this. So um, this is basically what it, I guess, looks like. Now you still have your original, um, I guess, starter software. I don't, launcher software. I think that's what everybody's calling it is a launcher software. You will still have that on here as well to get to your original Books Palma software, you can slide down and you can still see you have your normal notification stuff like that comes with the Books Palma. And then you will hit this little gear icon and it will bring up your original settings for the device itself. Now get to get to the settings for the actual uh, Smart Launcher 6, you 
will slide up because this does have a app drawer. So that way you can have all of your apps in a drawer instead of on the home screen, which I really like because I don't like seeing all of the apps and some of this stuff I just don't use on a daily basis. So to get to your settings, you'll just go to your little gear icon settings. And then here's all of the settings for the actual Smart Launcher 6 uh, software. <clears throat> There's a, quite a few things that you can change in here. Um, you can still change your wallpaper and stuff like that. But with this one, uh, if you want to have your lock screen and your home screen different, then you will have to go through the Books Palma settings through, you know, the notification, I'm guessing the notification center, whatever you want to call it. Um, but if you just don't care and you want them both the same, you can always go through your uh, Smart Launcher 6 settings. So you can also change your fonts. Um, of course, you can still get to your storage. Now, the storage is different on this one, the way it looks, than what the Books Palma comes with. So just be aware that it is, it looks different. So you'll have to learn, you know, the the storage and file set up that way. Um, let's see. You can still add a lock to your Palma. Um, I mean, there's just different things you can do on here. A little bit more that you can do on here than what you can just the original uh, software. And I really hope this is still in focus. Okay, yes it is. So then I'm going to go back and as you can see, I have, um, of course, the wallpaper that I created. Um, this is a widget that you can download from or add from the Smart Launcher 6. And it has the date, the time. And I don't know why, if you can see right here, that it shows some events that I have or like bills coming up. You know, I don't know how that got there, but I I like it. So, I'm just going to leave it there. And then, of course, I have my Kindle, my files, Pinterest. Sometimes I will use the playbook uh, books to read some of my books. Um, and then, of course, Pinterest I just use for, like, wallpapers and just kind of quick ideas on stuff I just want to look up, basically. Um, and then, of course, I have Goodreads, YouTube, Lemonade, Libby, Chrome, um, just the stuff that I would use on a daily basis. And, of course, I have the uh, photo gallery on here as well because you can take pictures with this, but you have to download a, like a, a second party, third party apps from the Play Store because the Books Palma does not come with a native camera app um but you can take pictures so now that we got all of that kind of settled um another question that they had was how to change the icons now with the smart launcher 6 app which i again have the pro version now the free version you may not be able to use as many of the shapes um, and they do suggest a app that you can download. You can either use a free one or purchase it for, I think, $9. So you can get any of the icons that are in there, which they have some really nice icons. Now, again, with the Books Palma, it's going to be black and white. So the color, of course, is not going to show. But if you use this on an Android phone that, of course, has color, it will show all the colors. Um, so what you do to change the icons, you will tap and hold on the screen and this little thing will pop up and you can slide up to show more of the, um, prompts or stuff that you can do. So to change the icons, you go to this global appearance and then here you will see icon appearance. So you'll just tap on that. And then down here, you will have to activate it um, 
basically turn it on so that way all the icons will change now you can just change the ones that are on your home screen and then the ones that are in your app drawer you can leave just as default or you can change those as well which i've changed both of them just because i really like the heart style one and then you'll go to these shapes now again i don't know if all of these shapes will be available for the free version but since I paid for it, I do have all of the shapes. And then you would just click on, I'm trying to use my Apple Pencil to click on it. Um, click on it and now you can see this looks kind of more like books. Um, I mean, they have quite a few different ones that you can choose from, but I just really like the heart one. So that's just what I've done. And then for pages, same thing. You can change the appearance. You'll have to turn Make sure it's turned on and then change your icons from there. Um, like I said, they do have uh, icon packs that you can use. So let's see. So this one right here is the app that they suggest you get. Um, like I said, there are free ones in there. So you could still download it and, you know, test it out. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and download it just to test it out. But for, of, of course, the cell phone uh, colored versions, you will see the color. Um, now with this, of course, the way it looks, I guess it's just the appearance of it is what you will actually see. Um, see, it's asking you for a, see, lifetime is $8.49. So that's not too bad if you know you're going to use it a lot. But again... I've just been using the free version. Um, so as you can see, like most of these would be in color, but Books Palma, it's grayscale mode is basically what I'm calling it. So you can see where it says pro, that means it's for the paid version. Now, if it doesn't show anything, then that means it's the free version. So you can also use these icons as well. If you don't like the little shapes or whatever, um, yeah, so you can use those as well. Um, let's see, what else can we do? You can change your wallpaper in here. You can also change uh, gesture and hotkeys, which I don't use those, so I'm not exactly sure what that does. Um, also, you can add widgets from here that they have built into the app itself. You can add pages, you can add icons, you can... I mean, there's quite a few things that you can do in this, uh, with this launcher than the original Books Palma. So you'll just have to play around with it and, you know, see what you, what you like. Um, premium features. Okay, so this is showing you kind of what you would get with the pro version. And yeah, I think that is basically everything um, that I can think of to show you. Uh, maybe I can show you some of the widgets that they have there. Now, as you add things like Facebook or Messenger or YouTube, I, I'm assuming more of the widgets will be added because you have those apps. Um, so you have a battery, you have the music, you also have calendar events. Now, with the free version, I don't think you will get... Of course, all of this, as you can see, the music, the weather, the calendar, all that says pro. So you will not have those on the free version. Um, notes, all that's pro. The search you will have on the free version. Um, the clocks. And let's see. So, yeah, as you add some... Um, apps they will add their own little widgets so you can kind of go through here and add widgets if you use them so i think that is about everything that i can show you so i hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching